write the eccentricity of the ellipse 9x square plus 5y square minus 18x minus 2y minus 16 is equal to 0 so let us write it in standard form so by taking by simplifying so 9x square plus 18x plus 5y square minus 2y is equal to 16 so taking 9 common x square minus 2x and here 5 taken common y square minus 2 by 5 y is equal to 16 so here 9 times so we can write here x square minus 2 into x into 1 plus 1 square plus 5 times of y square minus 2 into y into 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 whole square is required so which is equal to 16 so we are taken 9 times 1 square is added and again 5 times 1 by 5 whole square is also added so adding 9 times 1 square and 5 times 1 by 5 whole square on both the sides so that we can simplify it as 9 times of x minus 1 whole square and 5 times of this is y minus 1 by 5 whole square is equal to 16 plus 9 plus 5 upon 25 is 1 upon 5 so we can write 9 times x minus 1 whole square plus 5 times y minus 1 upon 5 whole square is equal to 25 this is 25 plus 1 upon 5 that is 25 5 is a 125 plus 1 126 126 upon 5 and then dividing 126 upon 5 on both the sides so we'll have 9 times x minus 1 whole square upon 126 upon 5 plus 5 times y minus 1 by 5 whole square upon 126 upon 5 which is equal to 1 or we can write x minus 1 whole square upon 126 divided by 5 into 9 so you can write here 9 into 5 or 45 and plus here y minus 1 upon 5 whole square so divided by 126 upon so 5 into 5 that is 25 which is equal to 1 so that when it is compared with x minus h whole square upon a square plus y minus k whole square upon b square is equal to 1 we are having a square is equal to 126 upon 45 and b square is equal to 126 upon 25 so here b square value is greater than a square so b square value is greater than a square so we can write eccentricity e is equal to under root of 1 minus a square by b square so a square is nothing but 126 by 45 upon 126 by 25 so which is equal to under root of 1 minus so which comes as 25 by 45 so 5 5 is a 5 9 times so 9 minus 5 4 upon 9 so square root of 4 upon 9 is 2 upon 3 so we have eccentricity e is equal to 2 upon 3 therefore eccentricity of given ellipse is 2 upon 3